Keyboards. They're one of the key input devices for any computer. And a few years back, Apple was known for having some of the best keyboards in the laptop space. But in 2015, they shifted over to a new keyboard design, and the start of a MacBook Dark Age lasting four long years would begin. Today, let's look at the Butterfly Keyboard and why it was just so bad. The Butterfly Keyboard debuted on the crazy thin 2015 MacBook Retina, which shaped the trend of future MacBook design. You can't really understate how thin and beautiful this computer looks. Just take a look at it next to this Unibody 2012 MacBook. The Retina is less than half of its weight and several times thinner. However, to achieve that legendary thinness, they made several questionable choices. The performance specs sucked, the port selection was non-existent, and the price was just way too high. But that's for another video. Here we're just looking at one major flaw, the keyboard. The thin chassis necessitated an all-new keyboard design, which used a single-piece key assembly instead of the traditional two-piece assembly found on normal scissor switches. This allowed for a much thinner profile and less key separation. Butterfly keyboards were meant as a best of both worlds, as they allowed for much thinner devices while providing a lot more key stability. However, right out the gate, users started complaining about poor tactile feel when typing. And it's not hard to see why. Take a look at this 2012 MacBook Pro with its scissor switches. See how much the keys can travel. Now take a look at this 2016 MacBook Retina. The butterfly keys barely go down at all. This lack of key travel meant that typing just wasn't as satisfying as a traditional scissor switch. However, lack of key travel was the least of Apple's concerns. Yep, the reliability of this keyboard was abysmal. The butterfly mechanism is so fragile that a piece of dust or tiny food crumbs could cause keys to break completely or else stick while typing, rendering it completely useless. And when you're paying top dollar for your daily machine that you need to do work on, that can be really frustrating. Apple went through three generations of the butterfly mechanism and stuck it on all of their laptops before caving to the mountain of complaints and creating a replacement program. However, if your computer was out of the four-year replacement window, then you were out of luck. I personally had a sticky option and left command key, so I went to the Genius Bar to get a replacement, only to find out that my computer was 22 days too old to be eligible for a free keyboard replacement, meaning I'd have to pay out of pocket to fix the issue. At that point, I decided just to deal with the stickiness, since replacing the keyboard wouldn't be worth it for this computer anyways. Finally, in 2019, after shipping millions of butterfly keyboards, Apple switched back to the traditional scissor mechanism in their 16-inch MacBook Pro. Now, all MacBooks are back to the good old scissor switches, and the days of the butterfly no longer haunt us. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe, and if you've had a bad experience with a butterfly keyboard, please leave a comment below. Also, feel free to check out some of my other videos if you like this sort of content. Again, thanks so much for watching.